I'm Librarian Andrea from Gage Park Library. So today we're going to do salt watercolor painting. You probably didn't know, but salt watercolor painting is both an art and a science. You may be wondering, well, what is the science behind that? Well, we're going to be using salt, which is a chemical compound called sodium chloride. Uh, salt in its natural form is known as rock salt or halite. Um, it can be found in a lot of different places from the ocean to even your own body. You may have noticed when you sweat out, it kind of tastes a little salty. Um, it also has a lot of purposes. It can be used uh, to flavor your food. It can be used as a preservative to help foods from going bad. It can even be used to absorb liquids such as water, which is something we're going to take a look at in our activity today. Okay, so let's get started. So for today's activity, you're going to need salt, obviously. You're going to want to use some heavy paper, like watercolor paper works nice, or cardstock. You're going to want um, maybe a pencil, possibly some different fun shapes to trace with. You're going to want some liquid glue. Elmer's works great. You're going to want a pipette, which if you don't have one of these guys at home, that's okay. You can use an eyedropper. You could also even use a straw by sticking it inside your paint, squeezing it, lifting it out, releasing it right on top of where you want it to go, and it's going to work about the same. You want some watercolor paints, which if you don't have watercolor paints at home, that's totally fine. I actually made these out of water and food dye. So, to make your paint color, you're just going to need about one, two, three drops, something to stir it with, and there you go. You have your own watercolor paint, okay? And then just to let you know, this is going to use a lot of salt, so you may want to make sure with an adult, mom, dad, brother, sister, somebody, that it's okay that you use this much salt today, okay? So first thing, Maybe you're going to have some cool shapes at home that you want to trace, okay? So you're going to take your pencil and you're going to trace on top of your paper. Like that. Now you don't have to trace either. You could also draw some pretty pictures. Maybe I want to draw a pretty heart right here. Maybe I want to do a flower. Okay, whatever it is you want to draw, once you're all done with your beautiful image, your beautiful design, you're going to want to take your glue and you're going to want to have a steady stream of glue so that you cover up the pencil markings exactly. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you have a nice squeeze on there so that it comes out in one consistent, steady line. All right, nice work. Now this can be a bit messy, so you may want to put a big piece of paper, some newspaper down, and you're going to take your salt and you're going to cover your glue completely. Wow, that's a lot of salt. Now you may want to dump the salt either into a trash can, or I've got a bowl here. And you're going to dump all of the salt, shake it off. Give it a few taps. And there you have it. Now the thing that you just drew is covered in salt. Now for this to work best, you're gonna wanna wait 10 minutes so that it can dry completely. So luckily, I already have something here that I made before. It's all dried up. I have a little bit of crumbly bits, that's okay. Okay, so next thing, you're gonna take those watercolor paints and you're gonna take your pipette, eye drop, straw, whatever it is you've got at home, and you're gonna dip it inside and squeeze up some liquid. So I'm gonna start with red. Now, I want you to pay attention here because I'm gonna drop this right here. 
Did you see that? I'll show you again. So hold on, I just dropped my paint right here, but it spread all the way across that line of salt. That's because remember earlier, we said salt is super absorbent. So what you're seeing is you're seeing salt absorbing the liquid, which happens to be dyed red, and it's spreading across the salt as the salt absorbs it. Because remember, salt is very absorbent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some red in some other spaces. Now I wanna try a different color, so I'm gonna empty out my pipette. And I'm gonna grab some green now. And so this is how you watercolor paint. You just take the different colors that you want, dropping it in different spots. And you're gonna do that until you've created a beautiful image. Okay, so I have one that I made ahead here. It's already dry. And this is what it looks like once it's dried off of it. Now, there are ways that you can expand upon this at home. You can try with different designs. You could try different paint. You could try sugar instead of salt. Does it absorb as well? I guess you'll have to try and experiment with this at home to find out. Thank you so much for joining me for my video today and be sure to check out more videos every Monday.